And welcome back to the second set of these uh, Let's Play videos of Gabriel Knight 1, Sins of the Fathers. I'm Wadball, and I'm back to continue where we left off yesterday. Uh, we'd finished off some uh, needed uh, rummaging through the attic in Gabriel Knight's grandmother's apartment. Uh, house, I mean. So now we're going to go and restore the game. And go towards our next target, which is the police station. This is uh, just a regular police station. You've got, you know, people in the back. Mosley's office door is unassuming, unlike Mosley himself. So that's uh. Gabriel's friend Mosley. Uh, There's a photocopy machine in the office area. You know, typically stuff that you would find in a police station. Just officers, equipment, and general grumpiness. As seen in this guy. Hey, nice precinct. Think so? That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. Hey, it's a beignet guy. Great, I'm starved. Wow, I'm I'm pretty hungry now too. I'd love a beignet. Oh, tastes great. Anyway, this is one of those things that happens if you wait too long in the police station. This sort of scene happens. Stay put, you. Hey, grab me three, would ya? Sure. Now that, that guy's done dicking around, and right after he gets his three banniers, we can start talking to him and get those photos that Grace told us about in the intro. Thanks. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What can you tell me about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. What can you tell me- I told you, I ain't got nothing to say about voodoo. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. Are you sure you can't give me the scoop on the voodoo murders case? Hey buddy. Do I look like the kind of low life that'd betray my sacred oath to this department? I don't know. What would that kind of low life look like? Like hamburger meat if I got all of them. Kind of like what you're gonna look like in about five seconds. Uh, okay, okay, sorry I asked. <sighs> Gabriel, Gabriel, don't push your luck with these guys. They're just gonna murder you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I'll tell you, I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in New Orleans would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Best food in the world. You can get it right here in New Orleans. Muffalata sandwiches. Mmm. Mmm. Beignets, good Cajun coffee. Yep. Man can die happy in this city. Well, I don't know, as a... Be, given that Gabriel is a New Orleans native, you should probably stop asking about New Orleans. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Bunch of crazies out there on St. John's Eve, that's what. We're busy all night. Really? What kind of crazies? Ah, uh, your usual howl at the mooners, I guess. They don't look no weirder than them that comes in during Mardi Gras. Never can tell, though. What can you Anything tell else? me about St. John's Eve? I already told you, it's a busy night for us, pal. You want a history lesson? Go read a book. Do you know what Cabri Saint-Gore means? 
Can't say that I do. Eh, it was a shot in the dark. Don't think he knows his French very well. Are you sure you don't know what Capri Saint Gaulle means? You don't want to make me repeat myself, bud. Charming. Very Tell me charming. about yourself. Who, me? I'm the Death Sergeant Frick, why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? Not at all. So now we're dealing with Desk Sergeant Frick. Thanks for the information. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. Well, I write people's names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Uh, I think not. That's what I thought. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Hmm. Let's follow up. Where is the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Oh, come on. You can tell me, right? Come on. You can tell me what the crime scene is. Look. I know the papers got everybody stirred up about these killings, but that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder then? Hey, I didn't say that. You'll read all about it in the papers tomorrow, I'm sure. I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah. I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. Well, it doesn't look like you can ask him about anything else. Gabriel probably should have introduced himself in the beginning. <laughs> Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. You'd think in a police station they'd ask for forms of identification. You could just be some Yahoo in the street. Well, I suppose you can ask if you can tell him his name, and it seemed completely random like Gabriel Knight wouldn't have to ask for identification. But of course, it's a Sierra game. It doesn't necessarily reflect reality. All right, now we have an envelope. The envelope from Mosley is a plain Manila one. It feels pretty light. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Gabriel opens the manila envelope and finds two photographs. Let's take a look, shall we? One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot. A graphic close-up of a victim. Rendered in 256 colors, VGA. Yay! And what about this one? The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He, he had hair then. Okay, so I have these two photos. I'm not quite sure what to do with them. Well, I guess I've done all I can here. Might as well leave. Ah, <sighs> don't quite know what to do. Well, I guess I should just go to the Overlook and just take a look at what's going on in the park. Don't seem to want to go back to the uh, bookstore so quickly. Alright, looks like a band, a boy, and a cop. What about here? Let's see a drummer, a young woman, and that same boy walking across? And here we see, man, another band. They all seem to be playing. The Saints go marching in. And I see a... Huh. A mime following along with a little boy and the little boy chasing him off. 